I've seen men leave five, 10 year relationships and turn around and marry a woman that they've only known for six months and then do all the things that their ex always wanted them to do. Word of advice, stop preaching to these men. They hear you. They are not going to be the man that you want them to be because you're not the woman that they want to be with. People change for who they want, period. Over the weekend, I saw this trending and I saw it again yesterday. Very basic. This woman in 30 seconds summed up what so many people are going through. But I wanted to know what you thought. Do you think this has some validity? Nina Brown? I absolutely agree. There are no lies detected. It's been happening for centuries. We just got to... You know, women are so nurturing, so they want to hold on and they think they can fix. You can, Baby, you can't fix nobody who don't want to be fixed. You can't change nobody who don't want to be changed. And if he's not treating you right over a period of time, honey, let him go. But why do you always still always wind up blaming the men? And no one's blaming the man, but it's about self-worth. Uh, no one's blaming the man on this day. Okay, but Frank. In previous a, days. A relationship is two people. It's not, what? but it's not to say. Can I please tape that she just said that? A relationship, a relationship is, is two people. people. But see, you see how you always try to flip it. You're moving the no, goal. No, no, no. You're no, moving just, the goalposts. No, You're I'll moving leave, the goalposts. I'll leave the goalposts right here. Let's go to the phones. Um, I absolutely 100% agree. Um, I don't know why this is a thing for women. That yeah, like, <laughs> they I live mean, in Africa, sis. They're in denial. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, you can kind of tell if a man is really into you based right. on like how he's moving with you. So I mean. If he's not doing the stuff, especially in the beginning, like, really? This is a no-brainer to me, so. Absolutely. Agree. Thank you, sis. 96.3 WA2R, hello. So, this is my whole thing right here. This is where I happen. Stop doing wifey material Ooh. when you only the girlfriend. Come on, sis. That is exactly where this goes. Everybody's yeah. always in denial because this is where the man steps out and does what he wants to do with other women. Mm. Okay, okay. And you let wait, him come wait, back wait. In. We're on a we're on a different subject. She's <laughs> no, talking about no, no, we're not because this Brandy is where it happens. Is very okay. I understand what you're trying to say, but then this is where that man leaves you and gets what he really wants mm. because he's coming home to his comfort for the time being. And then he's going to go out and get exactly what he wants. So when she says, "I've seen men." In five and ten re year relationships, you're saying mm -hmm. that those five and ten year relationships are like boyfriend and girlfriend? It's their comfort zone. It, it is their comfort zone for the time being. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. All right now. It is their comfort zone, and then they're moving on, and they're actually getting what they want later mm -hmm. on in life. That's not what they really want. Do you think also it could be counted for in married relationships? A hundred and ten percent. Yeah. 110% because mm. honestly, I was in one of those married relationships. Mm. Wow. Or it when, was not for me personally from my side. It was from the other side. Or when they get with the mistress, they immediately uh, yep. marry that mistress or exactly. want it, or in a relationship with the mistress because that's what they wanted. Exactly. That's exactly what they wanted. Thank you, Brandy. Thanks, Brandy. Why did you flip the script earlier when the whole question is about the man bounce? The man bounce the relationship. He... And, and we use the word ghosted or jump ship, because, but the man left because, because that's not where he wanted to be. So, okay, so why were you okay. trying to flip it on the women? I wasn't trying to flip it on the women. You were. No, see? I, they ahead. asked for an explanation, <laughs> then they cut you off that and give you your answer. That was the ad lib. That okay. was the ad lib. Okay. I'm a rapper. Here's my thing. Here's my thing. We got to understand that I, I don't, I don't, I, I know plenty of men and I hear from men. I don't often hear from the women's side, which is why you're why, here. Exactly. But a lot of men, when they get to that point, they always say, she's not listening to me. I'm telling her, but she's not hearing me. I'm telling her she's not listening to me. And then what do men do? They start shutting down and they cut themselves off from the relationship. And then there's something wrong. And the problem is what we're saying here is that shut off man can go for like years being shut off he's just not there anymore he's like over it and and i've seen that happen to a lot of relationships so what i'm saying is i don't like it when it comes to the end and the man finally bounces now it's his fault where he was trying to tell you listen to me years ago okay. that's the that's the part i was trying to say okay, okay. let me tell you oh, something oh lord now i need you to listen 
women go through the exact same. I agree. Wait, see how you just cut me I off? Just, no, I didn't cut but, you off. I just said I agree. Yeah, but you interjected to say that. Just listen to me without. That was my ad lib because I'm a rapper too. You're waiting to respond. You're listening to respond <laughs> versus listening to listen. Okay, go ahead. We feel the exact same way. We tell y'all what we need, what we want, what we need y'all to do, how to help us, and you don't listen. And then we get frustrated, and because we're putting in the request for the second and third time because you didn't hear it the first time, now it's turned into you're being, you're nagging me, you're being narcissistic. If you just listen the first time and hear us, and then the action to follow, we wouldn't have to tell y'all two and three times. It goes both ways, baby. That's it. Can I tell you something? Yes. That tone right there, men hate that. <laughs> Don't talk to me like I'm a child. Okay, so if, if I, I, I <laughs> listen, we saying. can't win for losing. I'm just saying. If I yell, if I have a smart Alec tone, if I put some bass in my voice, then it's everything. Baby, y'all ain't never happy with us, okay? Lord, please give us a call. What you think? A lot of men are opportunities these days, you know. For the convenience. Yeah, for the convenience of 96.3 WHUR. Go ahead. This is some junk right here, because I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I'm kind of one of those guys you described. I uh, I was married, like I told you before, by my ex-wife. I told this woman for years about that stuff she was doing. For years, I kept trying to tell her, you know. And I finally told her, I said, look, if I ain't the right man for you, tell me what you're looking for, and I'll help you find it. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? I said, look, yeah, I said, this, if, you, if, if this is not what you want, just sit me on the curb like the rest of the trash, because one woman's <laughs> trash is another woman's treasure. Mm. And she didn't hear that. So finally, when I got tired, I shut down, just like you said, stopped talking for about three years. And when I made up my mind that I was mentally separated, you remember that before, lady? And when I was uh, emotionally separated, right after that, I met my current wife who I've been with for 20 years. Wow. So I ain't really feeling what she's saying. Wow. I hear you, bro. Thank you, man. Can I go back to something he said, Nina? Okay. And I finally told her, I said, look, if I ain't the right man for you, tell me what you're looking for, and I'll help you find it. <laughs> yeah, he meant that, baby. Say it again, Cap. And I finally told her, I said, look, if I ain't the right man for you, uh-huh. tell me what you're looking for, and I'll help you find it. And I'll help you. That's right. I know. That's when you know you done done. <laughs> that's when you're in a relationship, and you know done, you done. are done done. Baby, I'll help you When you, you are done it. done, I'll help you find My somebody else. I'll, I'll help you. We can interview people together. Ooh. I'll even write you resume. Ooh. Yes. Now go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Frank? Good. Hey, what you I think? I want to comment on that. Yeah. Hey, these women these days done got so messy, man. They don't listen to men. Men, men can go all out the way for them, but they don't want to listen. Sometimes we we just just shut ourselves down and just do it our own space, you know. I hear you. W H U R. Hello. Just wanted to comment. I Me mean, personally, I, I think it's a problem on both sides. You know, with men, thank men you. Are definitely selfish. You know, they think of themselves. And they don't want to listen to women because they feel like little boys. They, they feel like they're being chastised, so they shut down. And with women, you know, they feel like they always have something to say and that everything is validated when we both should uh, contribute to the communication so that there's a balance. Absolutely. And so there has to be a balance on both sides. Men have to be willing to listen to understand the direction the woman wants the relationship to go for the better of both of them. Women are natural nurturers. They, they want Thank the best you. for both of us. Thank they you. want the best for both of us. But men, we, we get selfish and we get prideful. You know, our egos come into play and we miss everything. But then, you know, sometimes women have to, you know, get, let that man be the man and let him grow up and mature. And if he doesn't at a certain time, then you make that conscious decision. Okay, maybe this is not the cat I need to be with. Let me ride on out, you know. So, and that's where you come into men deciding, well, I don't want to be with her. She's too bossy. Bounce, I'm gone. And then you end up with some heifer down the street. Not a heifer. I think you and Frank need to hang out more because you talking like you got a whole lot of good sense. We need to spread that good <laughs> sense around. I don't want to yeah. know you, homie. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, man. Thank you for your call. I love you guys. Love you, too. Can I break that down, maybe? Okay, yes. I've seen men leave five, ten-year relationships. Okay. (laughs) That part. Okay. I see men leave five and ten-year relationships. Wow. 
Okay, pay attention. <laughs> and turn around and marry a woman that they've only known for six months. Mm, you've seen it. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I've been seen in it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you've been in it? Yeah. Okay, inquiring minds want to know. I mean, I always get the dude to like jump ship and ghost they current relationships, and then they meet me, and they're like, oh my God, you're the one. And then I get contacted by the girl who's like, wait a minute, that was my whole boyfriend. That was the person I was in a relationship with. And I'm like, sis, you want him back? <laughs> Because I'm not even trying to get into the mess. Like, I don't do drama. Mm. And then she says... And then do all the things that their ex always wanted them to do. Mm. Dang. So a man leaves a long-term relationship, meets somebody new, gets with somebody new, and does all the things the first woman wanted him to do. Mm. 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 Word of advice? Yes, I'm ready. Stop <laughs> preaching to these men. Yes. They, they hear, hear you. you. Please. <laughs> <laughs> They hear, hear you. you. They hear you. They hear you. <laughs> For the women in the back, please. They hear you. Okay. <laughs> they are not preaching. going to be the man that you want them to be because you're not the woman that they Ooh, want to be with. That's the Ooh. hurtful part. Ooh. <laughs> the woman that they want to be with. Say it again. You're not the woman that they want to Ooh, be with. Okay. Sis. People change. For who they want. Ooh. Back it up. <laughs> People change for who they want. And then end it all. Period. period. Okay. Okay, city girls. <laughs> A city girls, period. Wow. I yeah. guess there it is. But people have to realize that folks are just not that into you. Like, yeah. you know. They're just not. Just one. I'd like to comment on what the lady said at the beginning about yes. the relationship. Okay, just... For everybody out there, whether it happens to men or women, just say thank you and keep it. I open. know that's right, sis. That's what I say. Thank you. Just thank you. It's a blessing. A okay. Amen. Don't waste my time. Right. Okay. Have a good day. Oh. <laughs> I love her. Okay. She's she must be a Virgo, honey. Let me, let me back her up. <laughs> say it again. Right. Okay. Have a good day. All right. <laughs>